Hello all, welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we discuss about the overview and abstract about the interview analysis system. In this video, I will demonstrate you how to create the different menus of the system. So let's do the same thing practically. First of all here, you can just include the standard input output library that is stdio.h. Here you can write integer main and you can write the return zero. Now here, I want to provide the menu to the user that is the main menu. So I'm writing here printf and here I'm writing slash n and that is you can say main menu. Now I want to draw a line over here. So I'm writing here printf slash n and here you can draw the line. Now here I want to write this main menu that is I want to provide the tab that is a slash t slash t. Let me copy this line over here. Now I want to provide the different menu that is the one for login as admin, two for login as candidate and three for the registered candidate. So here you can write printf slash n one for that is login as admin. You can copy this paste paste two for login as candidate three for register candidate. So here you can write register candidate and if user provide the value that is for example zero then I simply want to exit from this project. Now I want to get the choice from the user so I'm writing here that is enter your choice. So definitely we need to store the choice value in one variable so I'm taking here one variable over here that is integer ch. So here we can write scanf that is percentage d and address of ch so value will be stored in the choice variable. Now I want to repeat this until and unless the user press the zero. So what we can do simply you can write here do so it will load this particular statement at least once and here you can write while choice not equal to zero. So what happened this particular loop will run continue until and unless the user provide the value zero. You can simply build and run your code and you can check over here that is it is working properly or not. If user provide the value one over here then it will simply repeat the menu but I want to clear the before screen over here. So whenever user provide the one for example two three then I want to clear the previous content. So how we can do this very simple you can write over here that is system and in which you can pass the value that is a CLS. So it will simply clear the screen. You can build and run your code again. Now suppose if you provide a one then your menu will be loaded again two three and if you provide a zero then you will simply exit from this menu. Now what if user provide the one if user provide the one that is login as admin then which option you want to provide. Suppose if user press one that is login as admin then I want to provide this options to the user that is manage topic, manage question, manage test etc. So what we can do here it is very simple here you can write the switch case and inside the switch you can pass your choice variable. If it is a case one then I want to manage the topic. So I'm writing here that is case one and break. So if it is a case one then I want to provide the menu that is the admin menu. So let me copy this particular content. So I'm just copying and I'm pasting over here in a case one. Now whenever user press one I want to provide this particular menu and that is you can say that is the admin menu. So let me write here this menu is the admin menu. If it is an option number one then you can say that it is manage topics. If it is a option number two then you can say it is a manage questions. If it is a option number three here option number two option number three if it is a option number three then manage test. If it is option number four then generate question for test. If it is a option number five then I want to provide the option over here 
and that is manage candidates. If it is an option number six, then I want to provide the menu to the user that manage interviews. If it is an option number six. If it is an option seven, that is if user press the seven, then what you want to do, then I want to simply calculate the marks. So I'm writing here, calculate marks. And if it is a case number eight, then I want to display the marks. So I'm writing here, that is a display marks. Now here, you can get the input from the user that is printf slash n, enter your choice. Now this will be the honor of the choice. So I'm writing here percentage D, M percent, CH1. So I definitely need to declare one more variable over here that is a CH1. It means this is the choice number one. Now if user press the one, then I want to give the another menu that is in a manager topic, right? So here I want to run this particular case that is until and unless user press a zero so you can say that here you can provide the another option and that is what zero for move back so if user press zero then it will be moved back to the main menu now here you can write this particular code inside do while so you can simply cut this and you can write here that is a do while choice one not equal to zero so until and unless this choice one not equal to zero run this particular loop. So what happened? It will display the option that is for the admin menu. You can simply build and run this particular code and you can taste. Whenever you run this, it will ask you three options. One, login as admin. If you write one, then it will display admin menu. Definitely it will work for all the options. But if you press zero, then you will move back to the main menu. Now, if user press 2, then I want to provide the candidate menu, right? So, if user press 2, then I want to provide the candidate menu. So, here we can do what? We can simply copy this particular content that is case 1. And we can paste over here after case 1. So, it will be case 2. And that is you can say for the candidate menu. So this is my case number two. Instead of admin, I will write here that is candidate menu. So here in a candidate menu, I want to provide the three options. The first option is that is manage profile. That is candidate can manage their profile. Second option that is the appear for the test. So candidate can appear for the test and after that, candidate can check for the result also. So check for marks. You can save this. You can build and run this particular code again. Now what I did, if user press one, then I will display the admin menu. That is one, two, three, four. And if user press zero, then I will move back to the main menu. If user press two, then it will be the login as candidate. So it's a candidate menu that is manage profile, appear for test, check for marks. If user provide any option over here, then it will simply load the candidate menu. But if you press zero, then you will be moved back to the main menu. Now, if user press three, then I want to provide the another option that is register candidate menu. And if user press zero, then I will simply exit from the menu. So now I want to provide one more case over here and that is the case number three. If it is a case number three, then I want to simply provide one message to the user that register candidate here. So you can simply copy this particular content and here you can write the message that register candidate here. But what happened? Once you press the case number three, it will simply repeat the loop and your do well simply load the this particular menu so what happened whenever you press case number three it will not take the pose for example see here if you write one for admin then it will definitely move into admin and it is waiting for the option right that you enter the choice but in the case of register candidate it will not open that particular menu. why 
because we are not getting any option from the user in this menu that is case number three so cursor is not waiting for that so if you want to make the cursor is wait for you then you can use the function that is system and you can pass the value that is pose so it will simply pose for your input so whenever you run this now if you provide one admin menu zero back two candidate menu zero back three register candidate here and i am getting the message press any key to continue if you press enter then you will move back and suppose if you press zero then you will be simply exit from your program now i want to do what if user press the option number one in admin menu that is manage topic then i want to provide the option like add topic modify topic and delete topic if the option number one then i want to provide another three option so what we can do here very simple here we can write one more switch case in which we can pass choice one variable if it is a case one then we can write the code of the case one over here so that is for the managing you can say topics so let me copy this header over here that is in a case one you can paste so it will simply clear the screen whenever user press the one and suppose if user press one then i want to give here option and that is this menu is what that is the manage topics so if it is a manage topics then i want to provide the option number one that is add topic modify topic and delete topic so i'm writing here one for add topic two for modify topic and i'm writing here that is three four that is delete topic and here also we can move back so i'm writing slash n and if it is a zero then you can simply move back here you can write printf slash n enter your choice again now if user enter the choice and if it is a one then what you want to do so i'm taking the input from the user that is can f percent is d am percent and ch that will be my another variable that is choice number two so i'm taking here one more variable that is a ch2 here we will get the input from the user that is a ch2 so we will run this particular case until and unless user press zero so what we can do simply we can cut this particular code and we can write here do while choice not equal to zero but this will be my variable that is choice two you can simply paste your code over here now suppose if user pass the option that is one then it will simply run this and if user press the zero then it will simply move back to the previous menu you can simply run this you can build and run whenever you run this you will get the three option one that is login as admin login as candidate and register as candidate so if you press here one that is login as admin it will give you eight options suppose if you provide one then it will open the manage topic menu right and if you press zero here you will be moved back to the admin whenever you press zero you will be moved back to the main menu and whenever you press zero you will be simply exit from the project so this is very simple menu you can say that you can develop over here but i want to develop this for the case 2 also so you can simply copy your case 1 content this is for the manage topics now i want to do the same thing that is case number 2 for manage questions so instead of topic it will be now add question modify question delete question you can simply copy this particular case that is case number two and you can paste over here this is for the manage taste so if user press one then i want to add the taste if user press two then i want to modify the taste and if user press the three then i want to delete the taste this is for the case number three 
if it is a case number 4 then I want to generate the test so I'm writing here if it is a case number 4 then I just want to give a message over here and that is lesson lesson and here you can write the message that is generate a test and after that you can simply take the pose so what happened it will take for the input from the user that press any key to continue and then simply it will clear the screen now if it is a case number five then I want to manage the candidates so what we can do here we can simply paste our case over here and we can write here case number five this is for manage candidates in case of manage candidates I want to modify the candidate and I want to delete the candidate so I'm providing here two option one for the modify candidate two for the delete candidate so this is for the case number five if it is a case number six then I want to simply paste that is the case number two if it is a case number six then I want to manage the interview so I'm writing here manage interviews if it is option number one then add interview if it is a option number two then modify interview if it is a option number three then delete interview this is the case number six if it is a case number seven and eight then I want to calculate the marks and I want to display the marks so I'm simply copying the case number four and I'm pasting over here if it is a case seven then I want to give a simple message over here that is calculate marks if it is a case number eight then I want to give the simple message and the message is display marks now you can simply build and run your code whenever you run this you will get the three options and the one option is that is login as admin if you press one then you will be entered into admin menu if it is a one then manage topic if you press zero then you will be moved back to the previous menu that is admin menu manage question zero three manage test zero four generate question for a test five that will be a manage candidate that is modify and delete candidate zero if it is a six then manage interviews one for add interview two for modify three for delete zero for move back if you press zero again then you will be moved back to the main menu and if you press here two then it will be the candidate menu now if user press one then i want to manage the profile if user press two then i want to appear for the test and user press three then check for the marks and if user press zero then you will be moved back from the menu so this is the way you can create the menus if you press zero over here then you will be exit from your project and that is the interview system so this is the way you can create the main menu admin menu candidate menu and menu and sub menu in the interview analysis system in the next video we will look into how we can login into the system how we can register the candidate and how we can log in as the admin and how we can log in as a candidate so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a nice day